The following is brought to you by PaulAkers.net. Okay, you've just arrived at Anita Airport. First thing you're gonna do is off to your left here is a currency exchange and ATM. You're gonna exchange and get at least $100 US dollar into yens. You need 10,000 yen. The reason why you need it is we're gonna either catch a taxi or we're gonna catch a train and you're gonna get the PASMO card because this thing will allow you to do everything in Tokyo and in Japan, go on train systems and everything with no money. It's very simple. Let's get the PASMO card and we're gonna show you the next step to get to the hotel from Haneda. Okay, arrival terminal. We've came out, we got our currency, ATM over there. We're gonna spin around over this way and there is the KQ line. This is the line that we're gonna take to go to our hotel. Or if you wanna take a taxi, the taxi is right there. And of course there's information right here and they do speak English there and they can help you. Now we're gonna go buy the PASMO card and we're gonna go do it right over there. Line. This is where we're gonna buy the PASMO card. We're gonna come up here, there's so many English speaking people, it's already in English, so you don't even have to change anything. So we wanna buy this one right here, boom. And then we're going to purchase a new one right there. And then purchase a named one or purchase a blank one. Always blank, okay? 10,000 yen. Now we put our money in. Just like that. If you want a receipt. Now, this is worth about 100 bucks, just roughly, a little less than 100 bucks. And we're good to go. First, I'm gonna show you where to find the taxi. Then I'm gonna show you how to get the train. Down at the bottom of these steps right here, it says taxi is the taxi stand. The important thing here is 22 is Tokyo. So you wanna make sure you're on this one right here and the gentleman will help you. And the key is to just show them this picture that we've given you of the hotel. And you say Asakusa, he'll look at this address, he'll know exactly where to take us. Asakusa. Okay. Okay? Huh? Now let's look at catching the this train. This is where we are. There are two directions you can go on this train every 10 minutes. You can go to Yokohama, don't go there. Or you can go this way to Shinagawa, which will take you up here to Asakusa, which is where we want to be, and this is where our hotel is. So do not go to Yokohama, go to Shinagawa, which will take you to Asakusa. So let's go, Asakusa, here we go. Here we go, Osmo card, and right over here, watch this. Touch it, boom, come right on through. No Yokohama. There's only one platform, you just have to get on the right train. We'll show you how to do that. Yokohama, Yokohama. No. Shinagawa is going to be at 1445. So that's going to be in about you know, eight minutes. So this train, don't take it. And Japan runs by the second. Everything's right on the money. We'll show you. Yokohama, right there. Badman says Yokohama. Oh, I'm thirsty. Check it out. You ready, machine? I want my green tea. Push the button. Haha, <laughs> look what it says there. Boom, done. And I get my drink. Is that easy or what, man? You got a little bit of plasma card. It's awesome. It's 2.44. That means in one minute it's going to arrive. It's the top one direct trains to Shinagawa and Asakusa. Now, here is an important thing. It's only $4 to ride this train. It's 70 on a taxi. The taxi takes a little over 30 minutes. This takes 37 minutes. Not bad for four bucks, all pretty easy. Look what time it is, 2.45, right on the money, and the train comes in, because Japanese run the entire system by the second. You can set your watch to the Japanese train system. 18, A18, Asakusa, A18. That's where you're gonna get off. Okay, so we came out of the train. This is where the train comes in. We have all these different options of exits to get out. The hotel 
is right here. So it makes sense to come out A4. Lots of steps. You're gonna be cussing me out if you have a lot of luggage. So what I recommend is go to A to B. There's an elevator there. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And it's very easy Then you catch a cab or walk. Okay, whip out your PASMO card. We're gonna go through the turnstile, simply punch it down. It's so simple and easy. And we're gonna look for A to B. Okay, so we're out of the elevator. Here are your options. The hotel is directly over that direction. So you can go across here and catch a cab and they'll take you to the hotel. Or this is the map. This kind of shows you this is where we are. Or you can kind of walk up that street and cross over. I recommend taking a cab. But if you feel ambitious and you want to walk, it's always a nice walk in Tokyo. It's called the Tokyo Walk. You gotta get in your 10,000 steps every day. Okay, so we're hailing our cab. And watch how I do this. The door's gonna open automatically. Koko uh, onigai shimas. So now he's gonna program that in and take us right to the hotel. Remember that card. If you don't wanna struggle, Make sure you have that card available. You should be downloading all these videos so they're on your phone. You don't have to worry about Wi-Fi. Go to your photo app and watch it. Cue it up as a favorite and you'll have no problems and you'll get to the hotel very easily. So now we're at the hotel. We're going to pay. We're going to hit them the card. Okay. See, I see in the middle. This one? Mm-hmm. And then you hold it in front of this. Whoa! I got to time Whoa, that is so cool. Okay, our hotel is right here. It's in an amazing area. Tons of shopping, tons of restaurants. It is just absolutely awesome. Lots of energy. And an amazing hotel. Now this is the back of the hotel. And you need to go to the front of the hotel because a car can't go to the front of the hotel. So follow me to the front of the hotel. So actually you can go this way and it's really cool. But if you go the other way, it's really fast and really easy. It doesn't matter. We're talking about a short little walk and it's in a fabulous neighborhood. That's why the car can't come here. Real authentic Japanese neighborhood. You're gonna love it. Okay. This is it. This discreet little entrance to an amazing hotel that's going to change your life because you're going to experience Japan like never before. I know you think it's a very bold statement, but this is not just any hotel. This is a Japanese onsen hotel. And after staying here, every hotel you stay in for the rest of your life will seem substandard. You can't wear shoes here because this is tatami and everybody goes barefoot. So you take your shoes off here. This is the dirty area. Then you pick up your shoes and you go in here and grab a locker and leave your shoes in here. You just simply find a locker and this is where you're gonna keep your shoes. Grab your key and don't forget it, whatever you do. Keep that in your pocket and let's go check in. So this is an authentic Japanese hotel with tatami mats, but it's very modern and very new. And nice thing is this is where we're gonna eat breakfast, but they have all these drinks. You can have all the drinks you want. It's all included. We got coffee, we've got tea, we've got hot coffee here, and we've got ice. So don't hesitate to come in here all day long and get anything you want, your water bottles or grab a cup. Brought to you by paulacres.net, where you'll find all Paul's books and lean resources for free, including the new two-second lean play app, like Audible, but free. To listen to Lean is Lean on the two-second lean play app at paulacres.net.